For lesson 29, our focus is going to be on ratios, and it really is just reintroducing us into ratios. Uh, you've studied that before, but just reviewing some of the things that you've already learned, and then obviously this year we'll take ratios to a whole new level. So we're going to write ratios using fractions, decimals, or colon in place of the word two. We're going to round ratios when appropriate. We're going to talk about some cases where it makes sense to round and then we're going to in class find the approximate average rate from a table of data and again rates are ratios. I would like you to put this in your notes. A ratio is a comparison of two numbers by division and those two numbers when you're putting it into a real world situation would have two different um, labels. Uh, They're talking about two different things and comparing those two. Again, we've talked about rates sometimes this year already. Uh, that would be rates are ratios. So here's number one in your notes then. There are nine girls and 15 boys in a class. What is the ratio of boys to girls in the class? One thing I want you to remember about ratios is you can write them three different ways. So if we're going boys to girls, order does matter. So we would start with 15 to 9. So you can write it with a colon. You can write it with the word 2. Uh, at this stage in your math uh, career, we usually get away from the word 2. We typically write it with the colon or we write it as a fraction. So 15 to 9. So it looks like a fraction. One thing I want you to remember as you do number 1 then is ratios are always reduced to their lowest terms. So 15 and 9 do have a common factor, so I would like you to reduce that ratio then in your notes to lowest terms. Number two, we have another ratio I would like you to write. Uh, a 30 foot tall tree casts a shadow of 18 feet long. What is the ratio of the height of the tree to the length of its shadow? And again, you always want to watch the order that they give you. They ask for the ratio, the height to the length of the shadow. Make sure the height is your first number and the length of its shadow. Um, I did want to go back to number one here. And I know that this looks like a fraction. So it looks like a top-heavy fraction, and you might be inclined to change it to a mixed number. But remember that a ratio is a comparison of two numbers. So you don't want to change those two numbers into one single number. You want it to remain a 15 to 9 ratio or whatever you're going to reduce it to. Okay, so the same thing here. Because the tree actually is taller than the shadow, you are going to end up with what looks like a top-heavy fraction, but remember, you're not actually writing a fraction, you are writing a ratio. All right, and then our object objectives, sorry about that, objectives, we talked about how sometimes it makes more sense to find an approximate value for ratios. So I uh, gave an example here of the stock market. In a day of stock market trading, 789 stocks gained value and 597 lost value. What is the approximate ratio of those that gained to those that lost? Well, you know, if we did the actual ratio of 789 to 597, well, that's fine, but let's say you had to do a report for your boss and you put down this, this ratio and they really wanted to know just kind of in general with the ratio of those that gained that those that lost, you probably would not stick with these actual numbers. You would round them off to give them a better idea. So let's round to 789 to 800 and 597 to 600. And then if you reduce those, obviously you can reduce it by 100 and then you could reduce those by two. So it actually ends up being a four to three ratio. When you're talking about real life and you're talking about a ratio, it makes so much more sense to say, oh, the ratio of those that gained a loss was about 4 to 3, rather than 789 to 597. So it makes so much more sense to round them off, and then that would be an approximate ratio. For number 3 in your notes, I would like you to do something very similar to that for this problem. At the high school football game, 1,217 fans sat on the home team side, 896 fans sat on the away team side. What was the approximate, and there's your clue that you're going to round, 
ratio of home team to away team fans. Don't forget to write your ratio in its lowest terms. Reduce it to lowest terms. That's actually it for today. We will um, work on ratios a lot more tomorrow in class.